Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to email large files using WeTransfer. So I'm going to open up my internet browser and we're going to go to wetransfer.com and it's asking me a few options here whether I want to have a paid account or a free account. We're going to use the free account. You can send up to 2 gig. So let's go to the free account. So I'm going to click the I agree button here and it's going to ask me to add some files so I can drag and drop them or I can click the add button here to add the files so what I'll do is I will open up this folder I've got a few sample files in here so if we look at these files we can see they're 11 meg, 11 and a half meg almost 3 megabytes and 1 megabyte so in total it's around 15 megabytes and Normally I wouldn't send this much data in an email because it's quite cumbersome to send it and then to receive it on the other end. So if we use WeTransfer it's a quicker solution to get the data across. I'm just going to drag and drop the files here. And it's going to ask me for the email address. So I'll put in my email here. And I'll put my other email address in here as a sample. So I'm going to send it to myself. But you would put your email address in here and you would put uh, the recipient's email address in here and then a message here you could say something like uh, please download example files and then click the transfer button it's going to take a bit of time for it to upload the files but you can see it's pretty quick it's got to upload around 15 megabytes and then once all the files have been uploaded it will send you an email to confirm that when the email is received by the recipient, they will have the option to download the files. And once they've downloaded it, WeTransfer will also send you an email confirming that your recipient has downloaded the files as well. So the files will be available for seven days. You need to take note of that. So if you send something, uh, you must make sure the recipient opens up the email and downloads the files within seven days. Otherwise, they get deleted. So that's how you transfer larger files. Normally I'm transferring things around 100 megabytes or more. If it's something small, I can just send it as an attachment in an email. But anything over you know, 15, 20 megabytes, normally I'll use WeTransfer. So I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.